Hello, welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I'm going to go over the Super Nintendo World website that Universal Studios Japan just launched. I don't know, I think it just launched today. No, I saw an article saying they kind of just launched it today, so let's go and see what's on here. No. Also, if you're wondering what happened to my other Super Nintendo World videos, those will be back up. I'll refilm them on February 4th when everything's back open. So if you want to see Mario Kart POV, uh, Yoshi POV, and subscribe to the channel. And in just about a month now, you'll see those. So this is the Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo World website. Hashtag Wear Mario. I'm sure you can get here from the Universal Studios Japan website as well. So this is cool. Grand opening February 4th. And it takes it right through the portal to land which is cool so then you get this really cool interactive site you can scroll down to start our adventure let's see let's scroll down Ooh, so we're scrolling and here's the first thing race on mario kart let's see you can click on it so here we go with some mario kart concept art and we can see here that it looks absolutely amazing can always see an on ride POV of this. And we go Mario Kart Cooper Challenge, official name. Here's another ride if you go. Here's the description Race your way to victory. Iconic Mario Kart courses have been brought to life with cutting edge technology, which I'm excited to see. Challenge enemies with shells. Aim for the finish line with Mario and Peach. The world's first interactive Mario Kart theme park ride will leave you with a rush of adrenaline. And I don't know if it's for the first time, but it's for the first time that I am seeing it. We have some attraction requirements here. Um, it's about five minutes long. It's about the same ride length as like Harry Potter Forbidden Journey. Uh, two rows, two people per row, so four people total. You have to be 122 centimeters tall, which I honestly could figure out how many inches that is. Um, but I want to go with like, 48 inches, I don't know. But you have to be 107, uh, 107 centimeters tall for if you have a, if you're riding with a supervising companion. And you have to be 107 centimeters tall again. I don't want to say this twice. But yeah, Universal Express Pass is listed here, so you can write this express pass uh, for this attraction. And yeah. Um you to get into the land you need an area time to get entry for now um so they don't overcrowd the land and here's some more um photos of the ride as well you can enhance your mario Kart experience with a power-up band let's just see what's going on there so this power up band you have different versions of course you can enjoy more adventures of the multi level super nintendo world with the power band the power band you can experience key challenges, collect virtual coins and items, and more to bring the experience of playing Super Mario games to the real world. And again, you have all these selections, these are basically like magic bands for Walt Disney World. And you can definitely link the app to your band to see uh, to keep track of your stuff. And then again, get all the coins. Or, Get all the keys, you can defeat Bowser Jr., which is awesome as well. And there's different key challenges like the Goomba Crazy Crank, the Koopa Troopa Power Punch, or Power Punch, the Piranha Plant Nap Mishap, the Bomb Om Kaboom Room, and the Thrump Panic or Panel Panic. So, five mini games. I think it's the first time. And I've seen the that of how many mini games you can do. So it's five mini games you can play here. Then you're gonna get all the keys and you can defeat Bowser with some friends here. After obtaining the keys, team of friends Bowser Jr. is five and up. And then you can meet up. Here's some character, the character meeting reads. We've seen all three leaked pictures. You can see Princess Peach, and Luigi, Mario, and Mr. Toad. Or and Toad, I don't know if it's Mr. Toad. Um, and there's photo opportunities, of course. Uh, due to the situation, I'm not sure if you can like touch them, but um, maybe you can take a socially distant picture with them. Um, food and, well, go on a journey with Yoshi. I don't think I did that one yet. 
this is Dochi's adventure. The people mover type attraction, as we saw POV of, and we'll see another POV on February 4th. You can hop on Yoshi for an adorable adventure. Hang on to Yoshi as you search for Captain Toad on a treasure hunt. Get a spectacular view of the Mushroom, King Mushroom Kingdom from Mount Beanpole while having fun on this ride that's perfect for the whole family. And it's kind of short, and there's only like one show she show scene or two of them, but it's mostly outdoors. You can see the entire ride from the land itself. Makes like a nice people move for the, for, for the attraction. So it's approximately five minutes with the POV, or the POV is three and a half minutes, but didn't show the whole ride. So I guess it's five minutes, kind of felt shorter than that. Uh, also, two it's four people for a car, 122 centimeters, and then 86 centimeters with a companion. Um, let's see else. And here's the map. You can use Captain Egg's map. Captain must find three mysterious eggs. And I guess kind of it makes this kind of an interactive adventure, which is cool. I didn't know that. Um, as well, we can take home a souvenir photo too. And here's a whole map of land. Here's some of the food locations. And by the way, yeah, this is where Donkey Kong Country is going to be. So that land, this portal right there, um, which is pretty cool. So there's one, two, two food locations. Oh, no, three food locations. Probably this is the actual restaurant. These might be snack locations. And there's two shops. This is the Mario Kart, the gift shop, and this might be the one up gift shop, I assume. Yeah. We did this one, the food and restaurants. It also has its own site. Does Harry Potter have? I think yeah, Harry Potter for sure has its own site. Yeah. Canopio's Cafe. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but that has the um that's the main restaurant here. The toenail has been transformed into a restaurant, and here's some of the food items as we've seen. The Mario Bacon Cheeseburger, Super Mushroom Pizza, here's a salad with some mushrooms. Looks like dessert, a block, or block tiramisu. Then there's a Pit Stop Popcorn. You can have a couple of popcorn buttons. This is the first time I've seen the Mario Kart Popcorn Bucket. Look, there's the Star Popcorn Bucket as well, right here. And this is the snack shop in the Mushroom Kingdom, Yochi Snack Island. You have green shell calzone with, filled with Yakoba, Yako, Yako Zoba, and cheese. And Yoshi's Lassie, which is an interesting drink. Yogurt Lassie, looks like. And here are the two locations. Here are the locations for that. And lastly, um, of course, the Mayo Cafe and store. You can get these items that we it's on Hollywood Boulevard, not in the land. And lastly, the merchandising shops. Look at these awesome kiddos dressing up in their Mario and Luigi, Luigi cosplay. All right. So there's so many things. You can have these plushes, glasses. These almost remind me of Mickey uh, gloves, of course. They have five fingers, so they're Mario gloves and Luigi's. This is looks very comfortable as well. So I guess that's a selection of that. Of course, you can buy your power bands here as well. And at the one-up factory, and then there's a, uh, something right here. That's the Mario Kart one as well. All right, and that looks to be it. That looks like a full breakdown of this Mario Kart store or the Super Mario uh, Super Nintendo World website they just debuted, and I love this how it's interactive. Um, there's the the Ouija, uh, Yoshi's Adventure, and everything's moving around. It's such an interactive land. Uh, I can't wait to experience it here in Hollywood in a couple of years or next year, and uh, I can't wait to break down those POVs for you, Mario Kart and Yoshi, the full Yoshi experience, and not filmed vertically, but filmed correctly this time um, on February 4th. But what did you guys think of this uh, adventure? What did you guys think of it, of this website? I think it looks really awesome. Um, I love Universal to do the interactive websites like what Harry Potter and now this. Um, so how excited are you for Super Nintendo World? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.